Oh my goodness. What a pig. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dave D Fishing. So in this video, we're gonna be fishing for white perch. We're at a salt pond in the Cape. So this morning was a little bizarre. I went, I did go for false albacore this morning and I caught some false albacore, bluefish, scup, sea bass, a couple little tiny tatog on epoxies, but that fishing window, the fish stopped biting at 7.30. So I decided to fill the rest of my time possibly catching some nice salt pond white perch. So these salt pond white perch are generally beefier. They have this more golden color to them. They're eating right now in this pond behind me. There's grass shrimp I've seen in there, mud minnows. There's also striped bass in there. Good healthy habitat. It's really quiet. You're not going to see much action on the top as far as white perch jumping and that type of thing. Briefly, I'm just going to go over this spinning rod combo that I'm using today. It is the Daiwa D-Shock F602 medium light with a 2000 series reel on there. This rod is rated from 3 16 of an ounce to a half an ounce and it uses 4 to 10 pound test. I spooled up the 2000 series reel with 6 pound braid and the braid goes to a 10 pound Seagar fluorocarbon leader that will go to my lure that I will show you next. I will be using the Bass Pro Crappy Max 2 inch curly tail grub and it is called Monkey Milk. And then the jig head is just a no name brand 8th ounce jig head. Alright, here we go. Curly tail grub going in. This is my cheap little Daiwa combo that I bought down in um, Connecticut at Fishing Factory, I think three. It's this little six foot rod, um, rated up to half an ounce. So I'm just letting this thing hit the bottom, jigging it up, letting it fall, up. That's all I'm doing. And I'm, I like using the twisty tails for the white perch because obviously it just adds a little bit of um, attraction with the noise from the coming from the tail. Yeah, cool little pond though. I like this place. I came here a couple times in the winter. Caught some really tiny fish. I knew there are larger ones in here, but um, yeah, I was reading the fish surveys and really the only fish that go that are actually in here are white perch and um, alawives. That's really it. So the, the herring slash alawives will spawn in here. This one. Ooh, that's a nice one right there. Ooh. That's a nice, nice white perch right there. Ow. Nice salt pond perch. See how yellow they are? It's crapping up all kinds of stuff, but that is what I'm looking for, guys. So when you're handling these white perch, they flare up their gills. And then this is all really sharp, so you gotta be careful. He's a little too small, we're gonna chuck him back. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice fish right there. It's a nice salty perch. Ooh. Oh, that, oh no, that was a nice one. Oh, that was the biggest one of the day right there. Oh, that's a good one. Oh my goodness. What a pig. Oh my, oh. Get up here. That's a hog right there. <sighs> All right, guys, look at the size of this white perch. It's huge. It's a big old white perch. I think this thing's probably around 15 inches or so. Pretty large. Um, just for size reference, I could fit the GoPro battery in its mouth. So it's, it's a good size fish. So I'm gonna keep a couple of these again for some dinner. That's, I think that's probably my PB white perch right there. Oh, oh. Oh, he came back for it and missed again. Oh, there he is. Oh, 
I'm letting him go. He's a little, definitely smaller than the other two. There we go. Nice salty white perch right there. Yeah, cute little perch. Yeah, these white perch act pretty much just like a striped bass, which is their older and bigger cousin. Little scrapper. Where are all the big ones? I mean, these are really nice white perch, don't get me wrong. I want some quality. That's a nice white perch right there. Nice salty white perch. Come on, give me that. Oh, where are the nice sized ones? They all disappeared. All right guys, so you made it to the end of this video, this 10 minute escapes video where I was fishing for white perch. I ended up doing this white perch video after my very short Albi session this morning. The Albi fishing was okay for like an hour. I missed three Albies and then caught the fourth. And then after 7.30, I could not find the fish anymore. It was starting to get sporty out there. Packed up my kayak, went to a salt pond nearby, and tried for white perch. I knew this pond had white perch in it because last winter I poked around there for a little bit and I caught a bunch of itty bitty white perch, so obviously there must be some larger ones in there. Walked around the pond for 20 minutes, found a willing school that, was, that wanted to eat, and I kept seven white perch, one of which was 14 inches, which is a good sized white perch. And I'm going to be using this white perch to supplement the catch of scup that I caught earlier in the day just to make some nice dinner. So I'm going to make some fish sandwiches. So you don't you need to use any crazy tackle fishing for these white perch. Just a light rod, light line, so you can flick those small baits out there to them. I was using a 2-inch grub on an 8-ounce jig head. That's all you need. You can even use little paddle tails and that type of thing. Nothing crazy. Or if you want, you could use cut up night crawlers, shrimp, that type of thing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you at least found it entertaining. And if you did, please give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.